The Bible was written in polytheistic cultures, which means that there were cultures in which they worshipped many, many, many different gods. The Bible writers constantly state that uh, the true God, the Lord God of Israel, the Jehovah God, is, is better than all the other gods. Of course, they say that he's better because he's more powerful, because he's uh, fairer, um, more truthful, more just, all those sorts of things. But I love one thing that is said about Jehovah God in Psalms 116 verses 1 and 2 because this is something that truly sets him, him apart from all the other gods, not only in the cultures in which the Bible was written, but all the other gods that people claim to worship today. Psalm 116 verse 2 says, I love the Lord because he listens to my prayer, because he bends down to listen. You see, it was unheard of for a god at, when the Bible was written to ever bend down. They didn't come down to earth. What gods did is they lived up on their mountain or on another plain or up in heaven or uh, wherever they were, but high above mortals. They never came down. Now, the Greeks had gods who sometimes came down to, uh, to interact with humanity. But the reason why they came down was uh, to play tricks on, on us that usually ended up badly or to seduce pretty girls. So that was hardly helpful. But certainly the other gods never bent down. And this is something that distinguishes the true God from all the other false gods that people worship even today. God bends down. And God bent down in sending Jesus Christ his only son, into this world to live among us in humility and in service, to show us what he's like, to show us his love. And then he bent down. He had to bend down to get onto that cross and uh, where he was nailed. And uh, from there, uh, he was lifted high, um, executed as a common criminal. He bent down as low as low can be. Read about it in Philippians chapter 2. So you see, no matter where you are, however low you might think you are, you're never beyond the reach of God because he's the one who bends down and he has already bent down in the person of Jesus Christ. And whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is you're, that you're feeling uh, right now, whatever trouble you're facing, God bends down for you. And that's why the psalmist says, I love the Lord my God because he bends down.